Joe event. It's me. And a warm welcome from a venue that really oozes football history. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro in Milan. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Milan up against Inter. Well, Derek, it could be cagey and it could be tight, but we've got some of the best players on view here, and they'll want to show just how good they really are. I can't wait for this tie to start. Milan's lineup looks like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Ismael Benassa plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. is as follows. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Mkhitaryan Oh, they have it again. Diaz. Can he take advantage? And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Dumfries. Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Excellent defending. Teammates available. But nothing comes of it. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Must take the lead here. And there it is! The first goal of the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. get the ball rolling again it's going to be interesting to see whether or not that goal stings them into action 
And he has options available. Mkhitaryan gives it a go. A smart stop here. And now the delivery. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Chahanonu. Martinez. Really sound defending. Well, that's the end of that for now. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well, they're getting right on top of their opponents at every turn. Might it be Olivier Giroud? Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. is left totally exposed it's an easy goal in the end but well taken so underway again and a 2-0 advantage here now this could be productive Lukaku waiting. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. And very deftly cut out. Barella. Well, not great defending. And a chance to whip it in here. Could reduce the deficit. Still a chance. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Well, they get the ball rolling again. Inter still trailing, but the belief is back. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, they might be onto something. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Playing it short into the center from Mickey Tarian. Well, four marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Not increasing the pressure, another corner it is. And played short. Mickey Tarian with the cross. Determined defending. An opportunity then for the Nerazzurri from the corner to get right back into the match. And deciding to go short with this one. And not an attempt he'll be terribly proud of. Sandro Tonali. Ficayo Tomori. Tonali with it. Tomori. Davide Calabria and an astute piece of defending Leal oh beating his opponent with ease could be he can't hold on to it just cleared away in the nick of time 
Diaz. Fine cross into the middle. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Martinez. Well, if you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. Lukaku waiting. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. So now a corner. Let's see about the delivery. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the San Siro. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Chalanoru. Barella. Good visualization and execution. Well, a poor effort when all was said and done, and simple for the keeper. Well, he's made a real mess of that, hasn't he? What a chance that was. Diaz and teammates to play it to well this man Romelu Lukaku a very difficult opponent and the verdict Stuart has to be positive yeah he's done okay in that first half he's had a lot of the ball he's used it well and he's been energetic but unfortunately that can't be said about the rest of the team oh Ooh. wait a minute they could be in here Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. got to give credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest Alessandro Bastoni Dumfries Got to it easily, the keeper. And there to intervene. And we're into the final half hour. Giroud, great opportunity! Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Diaz. Can he do it from miles out? Well, deciding to test the keeper, but no problems really. Giroud. Well, the supporters think it's on. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Giroud. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, racing past his man. Leal. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. And they will make the change now. <laughs> Milan.
Milan moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Dzeko. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Brozovic. Dzeko. Determined defending. Davide Calabria. Brahim. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Level pegging, but can they change that? A clever finish he just flicks the ball behind his standing leg and completely deceives the goalkeeper what a cheeky goal that is well a dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Leal. Well, it could be on for him here. And it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And the pass, a good one. Good looking sequence. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Firing it towards goal. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Good use of advantage by the referee. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. of room in the wide area surely and a goal to settle the issue once and for all well here we can see it again look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself and he makes no mistake with the finish he showed a lot of composure there. And that is that. The referee blows the full-time whistle. And a night for the home fans to enjoy, certainly. They won't be getting totally carried away. But the home side with the advantage going into the return leg. Yeah, what a...